We are of course talking about the Masters back in 2018, where Tony Finau got injured celebrating his ace on the par 3 course at Augusta National. Nicknamed Tony or Big Tone, Tony Finau is the American professional golfer famed for being the greatest hitter on the PGA Tour. He surprisingly turned into a professional golfer when he was still a teenager in 2007. However, the injury during the 2018 Masters, was a lot more than just a one-week alteration, as people originally thought. Stay tuned to find out why Tony's infamous Masters injury, was even worse than people realized. Welcome to 24 Golf, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for your daily dose of golf content. Let's first look at Tony Finau's childhood and early days, leading up to the infamous moment at the Masters. Born on September 14, 1989, in Salt Lake City, Utah. Milton Puha Finau was born to parents Kelopi and Ravina Finau. Although he is an American national, his ethnicity is American, and Tongan Samoan combined. He also has a sibling named Gipper. Tony comes from an average middle-class family, and his parents worked very hard to meet his needs. Tony's father purchased used golf equipment and made his children play golf. Since his school days, Tony has been passionate about golf and played throughout his primary and secondary school days. Outside of golf, did you know Tony was also a good basketball player? Despite the school offering him basketball sponsorship, he turned down the offer and was determined to focus on golf. His strong determination and obsession with golf, made him turn into a professional golfer at the very young age of 17 years old. He not only rejected athletic basketball scholarships, but he also denied joining universities. His love and passion for golf made him win the 2006 Utah State Amateur Championship, by defeating Daniel Summer Hayes, a PGA Tour player, in the 36-hole championship contest. Within a short period, he turned into a professional golfer at the age of 19 years old. He started touring with National Master Tour, the NGA Hooters Tour, the Gateway Tour, and the Door Tours, in an offer to earn a PGA Tour membership. Tony's amateur career was very short, and he played only a limited number of matches while in high school. He also participated in the McKenzie Tour in Canada, and after several years of experience and growth, he finally achieved his desire for a PGA Tour member card, for the 2014 and 2015 season. This was just the beginning of Tony doing his things the challenging way. Tony's mother was his most significant support, and all through his career she was fully supportive of her son's interest and love for golf. Did you know Tony's first sport was their traditional fire knife Samoan ritual dancing? Let's fast forward to the Masters in 2018, where Tony Finau's injury happened. Tony Finau expressed that his ankle injury was the most awkward moment of his life. Yet on the other side, he got a lot of media coverage. What happened to him was pretty shocking, and he cannot change that. However, he was embarrassed and sorry, but things had to happen. Here's what happened. Tony Finau was scheduled to tee off with Yuta Ikeda and Bernhard Langer. He made a par on the seventh hole, and his children and wife were caddying for him. You probably remember it, Finau made an ace on the par 3 course, and he started running towards the green in celebration, before turning around and running backwards. While he was about to turn around and run backwards, he slipped by turning his left ankle. While he tried to take another step, he dropped down to his knee and reached down to his ankle. Tony then tried to pop his injured ankle back into place, before he tried to stand and limp back towards the tee. But unfortunately, he couldn't make it and had to visit an emergency medical facility, and drop off the contest and couldn't finish it. This was the PGA Tour winner's first Masters tournament. The 28-year American was very much evident in making his major debut of the year, and took the lead in the opening round. Because of the injury, Finau's first Masters was in serious jeopardy. Tony dislocated his ankle in a par-3 contest, while celebrating at the 2018 Masters at Augusta. He then underwent a negative X-ray scan, and later an MRI scan, the report qualified him to play as there was no significant injury. However, he was analyzed with a bad ankle sprain, Chris Armstrong Tony's agent, reported to ESPN. However, Tony Finau's infamous Masters injury was even worse than people realized. It was much more than just a one-week alteration. He was determined to play extraordinary golf, but it did not even get better. Because of the injured ankle, he finally tried to finish by birding six of the seven holes to ensure a top 10 finish at the Masters, tying up with Dustin Johnson. We can't take away the fact that Tony Finau, is one of the world's best golfers, and it was thrilling enough to end a contest in a high dramatic mode. Tony, in a statement, said that the week at the Augusta Masters tournament was one of the major highlights in his golfing career. The trouble and the hardship he faced to complete the contest were unimaginable. He was in a zone to finish it up. He admits that he was thrilled and pleased by how he finished the contest. 
he hit the fairways, especially at the par 5 and hit some fantastic shots, and made some excellent putts. He further added that the hole-in-one was incredible, followed by the most embarrassing moment of his life. He continues by saying, who knows if he was healthy, it is still unknown whether he would have played his best or the worst. After all, he did his best in the circumstance he was in, and came out with a good finish by securing a place at the top 10. He finished the match at 7 under par, making him eligible for the next year's Masters edition. His incredible top 10 finish made him move up in the world's ranking list. Fans watching did not think they would see a gruesome injury on one of the best golfing athletes. People from commentators to fans and fellow players, everyone was freaked out. Finau remembering his crazy day, writes on Twitter, thanking everyone for all the messages, wishes, prayers, and concerns he received. Following his Masters debut at Augusta National, Tony Finau posted pictures of his injured ankle. Seeing the images on the internet made people think, how can it be possible, and how did he finish at the top 10 with such a bad injury in the ankle? Imagine what he could do without the injury. The injury had a long-time impact on Tony's game. As he wasn't able to place his typical 80% to 90% of his weight on his left foot, for an entire year. It therefore changed his footwork, for a long time. And Finau mentioned that I think even to this day I have some tendencies. I had to open up my left foot and put the ball way back. I had to hang back and hit it off my back foot. Tony Finau is a strongly built man, and personifies himself as a new species of golfers. But what he is today on the course, took him time to reach. He has always been bestowed with boundless confidence and has matured consistently. Tony's unique look on the greens, coupled with his natural raw power, indicated that he had no deficit of sponsors willing to collaborate with him. However, his progress towards being one of the finest golfers was not as smooth as everyone thought it to be. After the infamous ankle injury in Masters Tournament, Tony then played for the US at the 2019 Ryder Cup. And some of his best finishes were the T2 at the Northern Trust, the Genesis Open, and the Safeway Open. Resulting in Tony Finau's net worth is estimated to be around $13 million in 2022. Most of earnings come from winning the tournaments. Impressive right? Outside of the golf course, Tony is also the founder of the charitable group Tony Finau Foundation, which strives to empower the underprivileged in the local community. And did you know, Tony Finau is the cousin of Jabari Parker an NBA basketball player, and Haloti Nada, a retired NFL football player. Now that Tony has been able to fully recover from his serious injury we are excited what the future will hold for him. We expect great things from Tony. What did you think about his injury? And don't you think it is incredible how Tony managed to finish in the top 10 with his injury? Imagine if he can achieve so much with an injury, what can he do at his best? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to never miss a video from us. That is it for today's video. Thank you for watching.